on today's episode of the Router Flex podcast, a message for early entrepreneurs, aspiring entrepreneurs, a couple of friends thinking about starting a business. You have an idea, you invented something, you're about to get started. This message is for you. Operating agreements and unit agreements. And by units, I mean shares, right? Or ownership or equity in the company. We'll call them units. I believe that's what they're called for an LLC. So operating agreement, unit agreement. Let's start with uh, the operating agreement, which is the document that basically outlines how the company operates, who owns it, who owns what, what happens if you want to enter or exit the company, the management of the company, all of it, right? It's the, the Bible, so to speak, of, your, uh, of how your company runs. I call it the uh, when the shit hits the fan document. <laughs> Why do I say that? Because after you get started and you have a co-founder or co-founders and things move along and stuff happens, uh, disagreements, arguments, people uh, enter or exit the business, you refer back to uh, the operating agreement. So when, when crap happens uh, and things go bad, you refer back to the document and that outlines uh, what happens. It's, it's already, it's, it's almost like a, a prenup, if you will, for uh, a couple of folks getting married. Now, here's my uh, rant on it. I'm not going to this, this episode is not how to write an op operating agreement. There's tons of uh, information you can find on that. I recommend that you hire a lawyer to write up your operating agreement. Yes, even if you're just starting out, I recommend you pay, I don't know, 1,000, 2,000 bucks for a little small town lawyer to write you up an operating agreement. Um, so this, this episode is not how, or it's not, it's not about the content of the operating agreement. It's me emphasizing to have one executed. Get an attorney to execute an agreement between you and your co-founders and sign it and put it in a safe, lock it away, whatever, uh, so, that, so that it's there for you to refer to. So many people start a business. And they have a friend, they have a family member, they trust this person completely, they've known them all their lives, whatever. They start a business, they move along, things happen. Sooner or later, there's a disagreement on something. When that happens, the operating agreement is going to save you a lot of pain and heartache and money, probably. Uh, if you try to put in an operating agreement down the road, it'll be too late. Now, some people would advise you uh, to wait and, and just kind of throw your product out there, see if you got any traction, see if you can actually make sales, see if your service is wanted by anybody. And then once you start to get a little traction, you can spend money on an attorney and put the agreement in place. I recommend doing it right away. If you truly believe your service or your product is going to uh, take off, spend a thousand bucks, spend 2000 bucks, get that operating agreement in place before you ever start. It will save you a lot of time and heartache. Trust me, I've seen numerous examples of how that can blow up on people that don't put it in place ahead of time. Next, the unit agreement. That, that's, a, that's a document that you pass out and have people sign based on the equity plan that they've been given. Um, maybe they have a piece of equity or maybe there's a vesting schedule for their equity it's a document that lays out how they earn it, when they earn it, et cetera. That document, same thing. Have an attorney look at it, make sure that it's buttoned up and that it's executed correctly and that, and that it has the right language. If you haphazardly give out equity and make promises to people via email or whatever on some bullshit document, same thing as the, as the company grows and starts making money, you're going to get yourself in trouble. <laughs> okay. It's going to be, and it's going to be super messy. Um, so please make sure 
you spend time uh, ensuring that both of those documents are, are created properly, uh, executed, signed, uh, notarized, etc. It will save you a lot of time and heartache. And there is your Rider Flex tip of the day.